vacated your world title. Some maybe thought controversially back uh, last year, but it was for fights like this, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. It was. Uh, I said Al Heyman come with a choice, uh, and I went with this. Uh, Chris Eubank been calling my name for a long time, as I keep on saying. Finally, I get the chance to punch him in his face and, and deal with this guy good and proper. You, you've spent a bit of time together over the last couple of months. Uh, have you gained in respect for him or not? No, 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 no. As I say... Why? Uh, the guy's a deluded idiot. I can't, I can't, I can't deal with him. But James, we gain... Sure, 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 sure. Hold him out down. Idiot. Hold it down. Even talk, Rube, so hold it down. Just hold it down, Chris. You're a deluded moron, bro. You are pathetic, honestly. And on Saturday night, I can't wait to deal with you. I can't wait to deal with you. Look, look, look. I can't wait to deal with you. Come on, bro. Grow up, bro. It's all dawned on him. Gabriel, it's all dawned on him. The retirement fight is here. He's finished. This is his last fight. I promise you that. He's going to get a schooling. Chris? What can I say? The guy is uh, he's a clown. He, he, he talks a good game. Um, but at the end of the day, we all know what's going to happen. Um, he's going he's gonna to get in there. He's going to have a good He's gonna have a good go. But at the end of the day, I'm going to be too much for him. It, it, it is right, though, isn't it, in a way that if you were to lose, that could be it? We're both on the edge. We're both yeah. at a stage now where a loss, we can't lose. Yeah. Uh, that's why this fight is so exciting to watch because it's two fighters fighting for their careers. Um, I'm just happy to be in a position where I know that he's not going to be able to handle the heat. And he doesn't. Bring the heat. He's Bring going that into heat. that ring unsure. Bring that heat. He's going into the ring thinking, okay, I'm looking can forward I to the heat. Can I survive? Oh. And the answer is absolutely no. not. Do you know what? He tweeted me the other day saying, give the fans, don't rob the fans and don't run around the ring. In other words, that's saying, Jane, please don't use your boxing ability and outbox me and give me a boxing lesson, stand there and make it real, real hard and give me a chance. Chris, you are mad. You're a dude. And do you know what? Actually, I'm not even going to box we've you. I'm going to come out and give it to you properly. All right? I'm going to come out and give it to you properly. I've got everything okay. I can... Everything I'm going to come out and give it to you properly. On, on the table, I can handle. We've, put, okay. we've gone for every, okay. A, plan B, plan B, plan C. There's nothing you can do in that ring in a few days' time that I'm not prepared for. Bro, you can't box. What are you about? You Please run. It's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. You can't box, Chris. What are you I'm, on about? I'm going to box Have you learned it? <laughs> I'm going to box your head off. Trust me. You're going to be begging to quit. You are You're going to be begging for that title. We've heard this be before, bro. We've heard this all before. Chris, you, have, you, had, you did take the step, though, to revise your strategy to look at how you could become a better boxer after losing to George Groves. And that's why, why Nate Vasquez has joined your team, isn't it? Just explain that. Yeah, so I've got um, a full-time trainer now. For the first time in my career, I'm having the guy uh, with me day in, day out, uh, focusing on strategy, game plan, uh, a, a tailored boxing camp to, to prepare me for what James Gale is, uh, a slick southpaw. Um, and, you know, we have, we've covered all the bases. That's why I'm so confident. If he wants to run we've got the game plan. If he wants to stand there and plant his feet and, uh, and swing, we've got the game plan. So he can try everything he wants to do to escape the, the loss, but we know what's going to happen. J James, it sounds like Chris has upgraded for you. Mm, mm, mm. Uh, what, has he? Sorry, what's that? In terms of training, oh, in terms of his, his uh, preparation. No, 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 obviously, listen, First this time in his career, he's had what you yeah. might call a, a dedicated yeah. trainer with him. Well, this is the biggest fire of his career, because I say. It's retirement time. Whoever loses this is done. And that's, listen, as I say, I'm a realist, Gabriel. And uh, it's do or die. It's do or die on Saturday. I've got one question, Gabriel, because I've never got to the bottom of this. This all seemed to have started from a sparring session yeah. maybe three, four, five years ago. I don't know how long now. Yeah. But what actually happened in the sparring it session? It was a spar. He come down and spar. I was doing him the favour. But that was... But that was his plan, because a couple months before that, he sent me a message on Facebook saying that one day we're going to fight, carry on being the man who you are. I thought you won the gross fight, but we're going to get it on down the line. And uh, yeah, he come down the spa. It was just a spa. I don't really even remember. It was eight years ago. He went on social media saying that he schooled me. But he needs to, oh, yeah, so that's Chris. about it, really. Chris. It, does, it doesn't matter what happened all those years ago. All that matters is that James Gale's career is over in a couple of days. 
agreed, but you messaged him saying that you thought he won the Groves fight and it were good and you respected yeah, him. So what, what happened, what happened after the, the spar? After the, after the what Groves happened fight? after the spar that changed all that? I'm not here to talk about the sparring. I'm here to talk about the fight. I sent him a message after he lost to Groves. Saying I thought saying you won. That you he, the man. He needs to keep what he's got inside of him because we're going to fight at some point and I don't want him being some timid Richard, you know what? guy that doesn't want to doesn't want to get involved anymore. I want, I want it to scary. be exciting. So, um, His confidence is actually scary. That's right. That's what you need to have, confidence. And I don't see it. I'm looking confident. in your eyes. Like, I don't bro, see a confident guy. I you see would somebody think scared. after the Groves loss, he would be humbled a little bit. Yeah, you would think that. You'd think after the Truex loss, you'd be humble. Bro, done, bro, proven. Me, I'm proving you, idiot. It, it, I've been there. I've done it. I've done everything. I won it. Okay, well, you're not, you're not doing it in a few days. Let me tell you I've that. I won everything, you, Chris. You've had a, you've had a you good are career. an idiot. You're doing. You've done nothing. Medalist, the uh, I'm going to be. I'm going to retire you. You've done it. You've Where's done it. Bro, we only got a little time to wait now. I'm there. It's my time. It's my time. Trust me on that. Just, just talking about like you. Don't, and he don't believe that. He oh, don't. He knows. Oh, this is going to be difficult. Oh, no, but hopefully he's shot. Hopefully I can get him. He's going to be shot. I don't he can't move shot. his feet. I never hopefully said he's you're not shot. sharp. He's not fit. Don't live the life parties. He loves women. Oh no, I leave I've, it. I've never you said are you're an shot. idiot. I can't wait to punch you. I've never you in said you're shot. That's something that you're I bringing can't up. Wait that's to that's, that's the words you're talking. You said that. That's what you think. That's what you're holding on to. You need confidence. I'm expecting you to be the best fighter you've ever been for this fight. Yeah. And that's yeah. still not going to be enough. Bring the heat, Chris, Still please. not going to be anywhere near It's your only to chance to, to, to think come over the hill, bro. Let's um, have a chat with Senior. Uh, what do you make of your son, Chris, and, and the way in which he's prepared for this fight with the man on your right, Nate Vasquez? He says he's uh, really helped him, will, will it enable him to be a better fighter, which he has to be to face James. What, what, what are your feelings about that? serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. So, you know, this golden thread of integrity that, you know, I'm trying to live by, you know, I've, uh, I've seen the brilliance of, of Junior. Um, you know, it's intoxicating uh, when he switches it on. Um, you know, there is scripture that talks about leaning onto your own understanding. Use the wisdom of the elders, the guys who have been there before. And, you know, not everything that I've said has been applied. It may have been heard, but it hasn't been applied. And this advice is true, it is pure, it is grounded. And it works. And I wouldn't have 19 World Championship wins to stand on if it, if it didn't work. It works. What makes you convinced your son will win on Saturday? I didn't say. No, I'm, I'm asking. You're not, you're not convinced then? No, I'm not convinced. Because? Convinced. No, because James DeGale is, he has pedigree, and the pedigree that is spoken about in terms of gold medalists and former world champions, it's real. Okay, so I respect the man's abilities. Okay, Junior has it, but who turns up on the night? And, okay, this is going to be strange to the audience, but, you know, my son looks at the physical aspect of uh, this boxing, the craft, the physical game. And from the physical point of view, I don't think there's anyone who can actually stand with him. But it isn't just physical. It is also spiritual. And this is where Junior lacks, lacks that blessing. It's the only thing that allowed me to actually win so many world championship fights. It's the only thing that's allowed me to actually put up with the bigotry of uh, the media, the keyboard warriors, the critics. I've um, endured it all because spiritually I am buoyant. I am alive. So I'm never going to come down to that level, but I don't know whether he has that. So this is most certainly a 50-50 fight, and for the first time I am petrified of the, or what the outcome could be. You know, we have worked, and I'm talking about Team Eubank, we have worked two and a half years to stay on this channel ITV. 
This is at the expense of my reputation of all these people and promoters and managers who have dogged my name and have not helped me. I've been the one pushing for this pay-per-view channel to come alive. In 1995, I was poached by Sky. They paid me 10 million pounds to fight eight fights in one year. We can actually bring that back to a channel, ITV, that is eight, nine times bigger than Sky. So I've been staying in for the business and, to, and, and for my son to actually realize the benefits of the price I've paid over all these years. So I am petrified that he may not win this fight. Thank we've you, Chris. A, we've, we've, got a, we've got a lot of skin in this game. On James DeGale, Now, this is the wisdom of someone who's been there, a former participant of note. You never underestimate your opponent in terms of his past performances. Okay? It's only about intensity. What gives you that intensity? Fear. So he has fear in him. Okay, so he's going to be on his game. Anyone who's thinking that this guy is on the slide because of these last opponents or last performances, they're missing the point. The point is always about what inspires you and engages your, your spirit? What engages you? He's engaged. Junior is engaged, but he's more physical. From a physical aspect, Junior has the upper hand. From a spiritual aspect and from a pedigree aspect, James may have the upper hand. So it's a 50-50 fight. And bigger than the IBO World Championship is this pay-per-view platform, which is gargantuan. Thank you, Chris. Uh, Paulie, um, Senior says it's a 50-50 fight. For you, is it 50-50? I think the odds reflect that. Um, you know, I, I, I like our chances, though. You know, I, I know the guy that we've got in, t in camp. You know, Jim McDonald's done a great job with James, and uh, I've been here at the beginning of camp and at the end of camp, and the things I've seen from James in this training camp as opposed to the training camps that I've been involved with in the past, I like, and I'll be honest, they're, they're, uh, they're much more positive this time around. But yeah, I mean, you can't underestimate a guy like Eubank. You know, he always comes with a lot of intensity. He always comes to win. Uh, but I think Senior made a good point. You know, they're, they're, you have to turn up on the night. Regardless, you have to turn up on the night. Regardless of how much you game planned and how, much, how hard you worked in camp, on fight night, there's a certain mentality. And I know my guy has it. You know, I know James DeGale is a gold medalist and a two-time world champion for the reason that on fight night, he, sh he turns up and he knows what it takes to turn up and he knows what mentality to bring on Saturday night. James, uh, what are your reflections on what Senior said? About 50-50 fight, you've got the pedigree, you've got the spirituality. I'm too good for Chris. I said before, I reiterate, he, he's, he is a tough fighter. He's, uh, he's strong. He's got lots of good attributes. He has. But to, mi to mix it and to be a world champion, to, to go to the very top, you need more than that. As I say, the proof's in the pudding. He's, he's been there. Every time he's stepped up, he's lost. And the, and the last one to George Groves was convincing. A, a gap to bridge, isn't there, for you, in terms of stepping up now, proving you can go to a world level? I'm a world level fighter. Anyone in the boxing game who knows boxing knows that. Um, this is uh, my opportunity to prove that once and for all, uh, to set the record straight, uh, to prove any of the doubters, any of the haters um, who don't believe in me that uh, I'm the real deal. Um, I know this is a defining fight in my career. Um, it is do or die, and, uh, and I'm ready to die in that ring if I have to, to, to come away with the victory. And what do you make of, of James today? Senior said he, he sees fear there, but that's a good thing. Listen, James knows what's coming. Uh, at the end of the day, um, his last few performances haven't been up to par, but I don't think he respected his opponents. He respects me. He knows what I bring to the ring, um, and He's prepared accordingly, um, and so have I. I don't underestimate this man. Um, I know what he's done in his past. I respect it, um, and that's why I'm in the best shape and in the, in, in the best mindset I've ever been in my career. Uh, I'm going to go out there, and I'm going to stop him. Is that a good thing? There is probably a little bit of fear, yeah, but not fear of him or fighting him, just the fear of, of, of losing. 
But as I say, I'm a realist. I know what's on the line. This is do or die. This is the retirement fight. If I if 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 I can't beat him, this 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 is why I'm so scared. Because if I lose, I'm finished. If I can't beat you, bank, then I'm done. But it's do or die on Saturday. Richard, last word before we open it up. Just a great fight. Just a fight. I'm like I said earlier on, I'm just personally looking forward to it. I think it's a great event, a great fight. James, as you can tell, he's full of confidence. Junior, as always, is absolutely confident. I want to thank ITV Box Office for putting this event on and hosting it. Also, I think even though I mentioned the importance of this and the great domestic fight that we love in Britain, the international importance is reflected by our friends at Showtime who've come across, so thanks to them, who've come across from the United States. Uh, they've not brought any sunny weather with them, but... We'll forgive them that. So I think it shows and reflects just that the winner of this fight, where they go to, because there's some massive fights at super middleweight, all within Premier Boxing Champions stable. And I think Showtime see that, ITV see that, and without any shadow of a doubt, both these guys know that what they can go on to if they win. So just ask everyone to tune in Saturday, the last few tickets, or there's some ticket availability still at the O2. And, uh, and that's it. Thanks, everybody, for coming. And uh, Gabriel will manage now the floor. Yes, please. Questions, please. Gentlemen. Chris, I don't know anybody I've spoken to who thinks you can be a decent version of James Gale, even 75%. The only people who are pleased with you beginning to win appear to be basing that on the notion that James is finished as a top level performer. Respond to that perception, which is widely held. Um, I'm not here to to entertain people who don't believe in me. I'm here to entertain the fans <clears throat> and the people that have supported me my entire career. I know what I am. And the real boxing fans know what I am. Um, it's gonna, it's gonna show on the night. That's all I have to say to that. James, a response to that in terms of what the gentleman asked. What was the question again? Everybody is saying oh. you've got enough left, then you win. Because you've had a great skill. I, I believe that as well. Um, I know that's what's gonna happen. Uh, but a lot of people think I've seen better days, Ben. A lot of people think that uh, I'm on a decline, but I've had issues, I've had, I've had problems, I don't want to keep on going on about it and keep on speaking about it, but I've had issues. But I can honestly say, I can put my hand on my heart and say that I'm fully fit. And you hear this a lot, but I'm in the best shape I've been in for a long, long time, physically, mentally. And uh, when I'm feeling like I'm feeling, no one's beating me. It's very hard to beat when I'm feeling like this. Any more? Um, both of you mentioned George Groves just now. Of course, we both had very big fights in Britain with him. Um, I understand that, I um, just heard this, that potentially George Groves is off the broadcast and that um, he was broadcasting for ITV and that either both of you or one of you has protested him being a broadcaster on the event. It isn't me, is it me? It's probably Pussy Chris. I, I, have, no, hey, definitely I have no me. problem with George being on the uh, on the broadcasting list. Um, if he's not there, it's only because this man doesn't want him there. Don't, uh, don't if he's saying it. he has no problem never. with him being there, then we'll see him on the night because never, I'm fine with it. Never, never. I love that. Never, I wouldn't do that, Gareth. I'm not that kind of man. Come on, you know me. So we'll see, him, we'll see him on the fight night then, I guess, right? Wow. Well, no, well, get Richard. Richard should know. Let's put Richard on the spot. He should know. Who's got him off the team? Because it ain't me. Who was it? Come on. Let's, I'm not let's not put Richard on the spot. Well, come on. Who's going to answer this? Because it ain't me. I wouldn't do that. I'd want him on the thing. He's a proper donut kid, but let him have his time. I don't care. May, may, I, may I make an observation? Which is... Uh, you know, let's all of us here and now, because I, you know, we have a great deal of respect. It was Chris for Senior. This, it was him. This, <laughs> this uh, George Groves has been an exemplary champion. Uh, you know, he has beaten these two men. His conduct has been chivalrous. He's been a standard bearer. He has been good. So it would be a very good thing to have him on. Uh, the broadcast, and I'll say this, as I know it isn't us, it must be your side, your camp, and so therefore, it may not be you, but it could be your parents. Well, it could be. 
because nah, they met you, you've right? got issues with them. No, it's nothing to do with them. No, we don't get involved so, in stuff like that. That's no, crazy I'm stuff. Sorry, we're involved now. George Groves should be a broadcaster I'll, on this ITV. I'll be, honest, I'll be honest, I've been here a couple of weeks and George Groves' name never came up in the conversation even one time. Uh, with among so the whole team, Paul, we've Paul, never even Paul, George Groves yeah, never Paul, even came up in the conversation. Paul, you're not you're not related to the man. I'm talking about his parents. But no, his no, parents everything goes through me, Chris. Are you stupid? It surely would have I'm come up about in the his conversation. I, uh, but I speak to his parents every day. I, it it would have come up in the conversation. Well, that means then it's us. Yeah, no, I, it could be that he no. heard bad news as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Richard, you best tell who it is because you best say who it is. It's not your side and it's not our side. It could be that maybe Gareth is misinformed. Richard, you best say who is, well, bro. There, there is you, you there took Richard, you, say who is, brother. You, 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 you guys took it as fact. Let's let's have some parliamentary procedure, please. Pla- parliamentary procedure. Let I me speak, it. and then please then take the chair. Go ahead, champ. Okay. It is not us, so it must be the parents of because I understand and 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 I understand perfectly well that the mother is in control of your career. No, so I, am, your I am. I am. I am in control. I am the real now, Don. I am the boss. But now, but now, but now mom's co boss. But now I will go and I'll say this. It could be that Gareth has been misinformed, and maybe I'm not saying it's you guys, but ma- it doesn't necessarily mean it's us. It could be nothing, and it could be a different problem altogether that has nothing Richard, to do with either. Start camp. speaking up, bro, because this is mad now. And therefore. So George Groves can be a broadcaster on this show. And who better to actually give an insight into these two fighters? I agree. Okay, and so yes, George, you are on the show. And uh, if we're in a democracy, if we're in a you, democracy... You then George you just hire them. George Groves back. Please, enough said. <laughs> Gareth, I won't, I won't ask you who's passed that along. I'm, not, I'm unaware of it, but... Well, it's, all, down all to his, it's down to his mummy. Yeah. Oh. My mummy? Yes, but Gareth, mummy. Gareth, but Gareth, if you've had a confirmed well, story, somebody to would have told up, you right? who, who, who told what, what, what it was about. Surely, if you had it confirmed, then surely somebody would have told you what it was about as well, or, or where it came from. They just said, but they wouldn't tell you who. Well, now let, we've both let. said we're okay with it, so there shouldn't be a problem, right? Gareth, I'll, I'll find out the situation and, and where the room is from and what you've heard and, and I'll address that after later on if that's okay. That's, uh, it, it's that's a all I can thing. say on it. it. It's a mummy thing. It's okay. Sometimes, Any more questions, sometimes guys? Sometimes like Any more questions? <laughs> <laughs> Any more questions other than that question? <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't socialise with him so I wouldn't know, mate. Just hard work, dedication. Obviously, I've had injuries the past couple of years, as I keep on saying. But I'm training smart now. I've, I've switched up certain things. Uh, but no, just normal hard work. I do a lot of swimming now as well. I mean, s- too much. Swimming will not help well, you in this you fight <laughs> at all. Stayed, just stayed. like, just like strength and conditioning won't help me. It won't. My boxing ability won't help me. You Chris. can lift as many weights as you want. You are uh, hilarious. No, no, it's mad. Have you stayed off of the substances, James? What? Of what? Of going out? I have. I have Sub- actually. Substa- I, well, I, I can, have. I can, I can, I can feel that. So how long have you been off of them? Off what? James? I'm confused. Say what? Substances. What like what? The type I caught you drinking one night. How I, I ain't actually had it. What? How? What? What are you on about? What are you asking me? I'm confused. You're confused. I'm confused. What you're asking? How long? When was the last time you had a drink? Pretty much. The last time I had a drink, Chris, was about oh, about three w- months ago. Was it when you tried to fight Arj in Dubai? No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. <laughs> this was after that, yeah. Bro, listen, he's holding on. I had an argument with Arj, and that's the de- day, that's the night he knew he was going to be me. Mad. Have you poked anyone else in the eye since, no, uh, since Chris, the Arj fight? Chris, 
Do you know what, bro? I, I don't even not. really remember because I was drunk. I'm, I don't really I'm remember. sure you don't. <laughs> if I'm being honest, bro. I, I remember. Saying. But, bro, you are sitting, bro. You're bad. If you, if you're hold, if you, I know you're looking for a bit of confidence. But, but, but why, why is, why is your side worried about what James is drinking? It's mad. It's mad. We're it's not, crazy. We're, no, we'll be happy if he's keeping it's up mad. with us. But of course, but that's, but either way, what business would it be if he's drinking or not? You'd be happy if he's drinking or if, you're, if he's not drinking. Regardless, oh. you should be worrying about your side. Am I not right? I mean, yes. Your preparation is what counts. Right, I mean, We're whether prepared. James is drinking or this not is, is, is totally irrelevant Chris, to Chris. your side. Uh, it's mad, but Chris, he's always out. He he hides drink from you. I've seen him on. on I, <laughs> oh, listen, listen, I've seen him on Snapchat stories holding vodka, drinking vodka. He's scared of you. You've never, bro, he's ever, ever gas, seen bro. me I'm drinking vodka. I'm allowed this. Lock this off now. Let's lock this off because you get my nerves. I may, buy, I like, may go out. I bro, may have bottles delivered to the I table. I want a picture of you drink. holding your thing. You guys yeah, are yeah. media. You guys, good, you guys are out there. You will never ever find uh, anything about me. I'm a pie, but I'm gonna still match it up. Pay that way. Stop Ever. all this shit. Yo, it's mad what you're going you on about. It's crazy drink. stuff. I can't wait to literally make you look one, stupid. One thing everyone's missing in this room. Boxing's about levels. You just got to look at levels in boxing. Don't lie to yourself. Speak. Chris is a good prospect coming through, but he's not on the same level. And on Saturday night at fight time... You will see what, what you talk about, what it takes to win Olympic. I'm levels I'm above, that's right. I'm not on the same level. That's what you said before. Superior. And with this Ruffy. experience, Chris might go on and become that fighter that he can become further down the line. But right now, James DeGowell, James DeGowell is levels above Chris Eubank Jr. in all the skillful attributes of, of boxing. Boxing is a skill. And James has got it at every single department. He's in great shape physically and mentally. And on the night, Chris can bring all the mental strength, willpower, drive he needs, but... He hasn't got the skill to beat James DeGale. Fact. Just, just need a mic to drop there, Jim. One okay. round, round of applause. Yeah, a, I, I'm wondering whether Nate Vasquez might like to reply to that. Nate? He does have the skill. Um, and I think his last two showings, he fought a um, Midwest fighter. And everyone in the States know the Midwest fighters are... Not that good because they're they're brought up in the Midwest. I mean, all their fights have been brought up in the Midwest. You fight in Minnesota, Nebraska, Iowa, Missouri. You don't fight anywhere else. And he happened to come over here and beat James. Um, so, but, I think if, but if that's but if that's what you're banking on, if that's true, what yeah, you're true. true. Truax, yeah, yeah Truax, Truax is, but, yes. But, but if Truax is what you're banking on, if that's what you're entire I'm not, I'm not banking on that. But that's I'm what you're mentioning. his last performances have been up to that, to a Midwest fighter's ability. But if I, if I, if I go by that, by that standard, Chris, when he fought George Groves, followed him around the ring for 12 rounds and didn't do anything until the last two rounds. You know, we can't go by those standards because guys adjust. You, you can't clearly. because DeGal also got beat by James DeGal. By George Groves. Or Groves. Yeah, he got yeah. beat by Groves. I mean, so yeah, it's 150 same. years I mean, ago. It's, it's the sure. same. Very, very controversial, but... Yeah. I've got a question for Jimmy. The girl says that he's ready to retire. If he can't beat Chris, if Chris gets the better of him on this night, would you think he should retire? 100%. But he's in the best shape of his life right now. 100%. So you think he's, he's not losing? I know he's not losing. Don't worry about that. One fight at a time, bro. One fight, fight at a time. Well, your trainer thinks you should retire if you lose. That's 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 confidence well, for you right there. No, it's just it's just Chris. Are <coughs> oh, you a realist? Yeah. Chris, you've got to retire as well if you get beat because you're following your dad's footsteps. He was a champion, and that's what what the market. I'm not retiring for a long, long time, Jimmy. I'm oh, I'm in the game for at least another solid four or five years. I got a lot more to achieve in the sport. And uh, this is the beginning. This is the beginning of a long and fruitful journey for me. Because, because, he, because he has learned the hard way. But he has learned. And so now let's see what is produced. I think it, it can be a brilliant fight. It can be a, a brilliant contest of skill against uh, tenacity. So let's see. We, you've got to implement, sit down, look at the look at the look at the fight back, and just be real and be honest. I know, 
Listen, I've seen thing. fighters. I've seen Chris Eubank Sr. at his very best. I've seen Joe Calzaki. I've seen yeah. everyone. James DeGaul, I'm telling you now, is probably the best British boxer I've ever seen from our country, period. His ability is unbelievable, but people don't realise. Why is there time that he's in the language? Because everyone's talking about it. Because it's... Because, no, 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 because I'm a realist. If I can't beat Chris, that means I've got to retire. I've had a good career. That means I'm shot. That means I'm over the hill. Here's the thing. I just believe in my ability. But here's what I'm saying, okay? As Senior said, I think it's a good fight. It's a good fight, and, 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 and I truly believe it's going to be a great fight Saturday night. Yeah. James has been up the levels. Okay, James has beaten elite world-class opposition, won two major world title, major world titles, Olympic gold medal. He's been at the level where he can hold himself to a higher standard. Chris has had some solid wins. Spike O'Sullivan, uh, uh, yeah, uh, Yield Dream was a good win. But when he went to that elite level, when he went to Saunders, when he went to Groves, he came up short. So if Chris loses this fight, he can still say, okay, I'm at this level, I need to work to get to this higher level. Correct. If James loses this fight, he's now starting to lose to consistently lesser fighters than what he's beaten before. That's the difference in this fight, and that's why there's retirement talk. But when you've been to an elite level, and you start to drop, to diminish the, the, the kind of fighters that are starting to beat you, you know it's time to go. It happens to everybody at a certain point. But that's if you start to lose to this kind of opposition. And that's not a disrespect to Chris, because Chris is a good fighter. But Chris has not beaten this level of opposition yet. So, Chris, Chris has not level beaten us. Andre Durrell, five-year world champion. I, I mean, I shouldn't have to. If I if I have to answer that question, then you shouldn't be asking the question. Lucian Boue, five-year world champion. Fear. Let me tell you something, Mel. I, I think, and I think even Eubank Senior would 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 would, 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 would agree with this. A, a healthy fear is always good because you have to fear to get beat. You have to fear failure as a fighter. You don't fear an opponent. No fighters fear an opponent. Otherwise, we wouldn't be fighters. Fears we fear strength, failure. Fears All fighters strength. fear failure. I guarantee you, Chris fears failure as well. That's that's a natural instinct of a fighter. If you don't fear failure, you're not bringing your best on the night. So if Chris is not fearing failure Saturday night, I'm actually happy because then James is gonna wash him. Okay. Let, 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 but that's the, you, we've, that's I think the we've common had that conversation, curve conversation now. when you hit 30 maybe, years old, maybe my man. That's, 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 we're gonna, that's conversation we're gonna, for anybody's yeah, career. We're going to do, do the head-to-head -head photos, guys, then obviously interviews. And so just, just, one, well. second just, head -head, that, just one second before uh, the head-to-head. Just one second before the A last word from Richard. Go yeah, on, Richard. Just to, again, thank everybody. Look forward to Saturday on ITV box office. You're probably better registering earlier on because I think it will be busy.